Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedgin Lee. I hope you've all had a very nice holidays. I hope Santa was very good to you because you were so good during 2017. I do know one thing. For many of us, we had massive profits in cryptos during 2017. And 17, and we look forward to repeating that in 2018. 2018 will probably be, it'll be this, we can make it different by making it the same. We can make this new year different by making it the same. What I mean by that with regards to cryptos is. We will see corrections in 2018, just like we saw it in 2017. We will see the vertical moves, just like we saw in 2017, but that will repeat in the new year. Corrections are very healthy. Corrections enable price to continue and resume the original trend, and in this case for Bitcoin, will be up. So I still have here my primary count. <clears throat> we have one, two, and wave two is still being worked on. Could it be done? Yeah, it could be done. But maybe it'll go as low as 12,555. So now we are looking at this chart. We have wave one, wave two. We connect, completed what looks like an ABC flat. Clear three waves here, distinct three waves here, five waves down. I don't know why that disappeared. Let me add it back. <clears throat> one, two, three. Four, five. Now, I already see a lot of people freaking out because of this. I want to show something that could be interesting. So if you look at this wave here, down, here, down. As I showed my earlier four factors of expanded flats from here, this one, to this one, fractals are bound. Fractals are found everywhere. So let's look at this peak and down. And now look at this right here. So it went up. We traced about 68, 62%. It's going to go up. <clears throat> it might retrace down to maybe 62%. But yeah, 61.8, which is a golden ratio for the Fibonacci sequence. Maybe 13,000, slightly below it. Or maybe it's done. But the key here is what happened after this fractal of up and down, it went above the prior high. If that's the case, up, down, it could go above the prior high as well. To this effect. So this is still my leading indicator. Now if I bring back my waves, it should jive pretty well. It's kind of funny how people are still freaking out just because there's a little bit of a dip. Now I want to show you my alternate count. Because I think we've progressed enough of my followers who have been following for three, four months or so, maybe since June, have progressed enough to see and be aware that it's always good to have an alternate count. And therefore, to that end, I would give a 
an alternate scenario will let's get rid of these boxes move this back where this looks very ABC-ish it looks very three-wave-ish but before I do that I also want to point out in that same fractal that we discussed <coughs> a bull flag and another bull flag right here again compounding the fractal relationship Now going back to my alt alternate count. <coughs> because this looks so three wavish, ABC ish, instead of having an ABC that is expanded flat, what we could be having is a ABC zigzag of this type I can just hear some people wailing and howling but if that happens we're gonna be so down well his <laughs> this is my alternate account <laughs> And awareness keeps the panic away. It could be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. A zigzag correction is represented by five, three, five. Five, three, five. And if that's the case, then we should be able to count five waves down from here. This would be confirmed if price approaches more on the, goes below, let's say, 12,500. But still, that should be okay for my primary count. But really, it should be, if it goes below, 12 to 12 to 50 also and if this stuff more importantly most importantly if this does counting impulsive if this does counting like one two three four five If it starts counting one, two, three, four, five like an impulse, then we've got an ABC scenario. Now let's look at the MACD. It crossed to the bottom, and it could certainly crawl back up. Now the MACD crossed to the bottom, and this could continue down to provide the ABC alternate scenario. At the end of the day, for me, the bottom line is the same. Different path, but same destination. Bitcoin is not going to crash to two, three, four thousand dollars that analysts are projecting out there. The doom and gloomers. I don't agree with that. The setting for the altcoins are too massively bullish in the setting for the Bitcoin to start crashing to zero. This is just a healthy correction. I don't know how to really stress that besides bonking people over the head with it. <laughs> it's a very healthy correction. 
in an ideal portfolio that I have, I maintain a constant exposure of 20% to Bitcoin, 10% to Ethereum, 5% each to Litecoin, to Dash, and the remaining 70% I distribute amongst what I see as the highest percent potential profit making altcoins. If you have all your coins, rather, if you have all your money in a single coin, that is not a de risking strategy. You will not, as a human being, have the emotional, mental wherewithal to survive and withstand the uh, corrections, the healthy corrections. If you have all your money emptied your wallet into only two or three coins, you will have very similar problems. Being very diversified. Exactly in the manner of a portfolio type that I said that I have. Would allow you peace of mind. And awareness of this type of alternatives will give you an ability to keep the panic away. So, that's about what I have for today. And I, along with you, very much look forward to going into this beautiful new year that's coming to us in 2018. Because there's so much to do and so much to profit to be had. Let's do it together. Thank you and have a great day. I'm going out skiing today on a ski trip. I'm going to do minimum morning and evening updates and a few during the day if I can. I'll be having my laptop with me on the slopes. <laughs> See if I can uh, put, punch in a few quick updates. But I'm on a ski trip from now until the new year. But I will sustain the morning and evening updates, at the very least. I'm hoping in New Hampshire and in Maine and Vermont and, Ma and, and other states where I'm going, internet and Wi-Fi will be okay at the hotels. Alrighty, thank you and have a great day. Of this type. I can just hear some people wailing and crowling. But if that happens, we're going to be so down. Well, here's... <laughs> This is my alternate account, <laughs> and awareness keeps the panic away. It could be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five. A zigzag correction is represented by five, three, five. Five, three, Five. And if that's the case, then we should be able to count five waves down from here. This would be confirmed if price approaches more on the, goes below, let's say, 12,500. But still, that should be okay for my primary count. But really, it should be if it goes below 12,250 12, also. And if this starts, more importantly, most importantly, if this starts counting impulsive, if this starts counting like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If it starts counting one, two, three, four, five like an impulse, then we've got an ABC scenario. Now let's look at the MACD. It crossed to the bottom, and it could certainly crawl back up. Now the MACD crossed to the bottom, and this could continue down to provide the ABC alternate scenario. At the end of the day, for me, the bottom line is the same. Different path, 
but same destination. Bitcoin is not going to crash to two, three, four thousand dollars that analysts are projecting out there. The doom and gloomers. I don't agree with that. The setting for the altcoins are too massively bullish in the setting for the Bitcoin to start crashing to zero. This is just 2017. I do know one thing. For many of us, we had massive profits in cryptos during 2017, and we look forward to repeating that in 2018. 2018 will probably be, it'll be this, we can make it different by making it the same. We can make this new year different by making it the same. What I mean by that with regards to cryptos is we will see corrections in 2018 just like we saw it in 2017. We will see the vertical moves just like we saw in 2017, but that will repeat in the new year. Corrections are very healthy. Corrections enable price to continue and resume the original trend. And in this case for Bitcoin will be up. So I still have here my primary count. <clears throat> We have one, two, and wave two is still being worked on. Could it be done? Yeah, it could be done. But maybe it'll go as low as 12,555. So now we are looking at this chart. We have wave one, wave two. We connect, completed what looks like an ABC flat. Clear three waves here. Distinct three waves here. Five waves down. I don't know why that disappeared. Let me add it back. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Now, I already see a lot of people freaking out because of this. I want to show something that could be interesting. So if you look at this wave here, down, here, down. As I showed my earlier four factors of expanded flats from here, this one, to this one, fractals are bound. Fractals are found everywhere. So let's look at this peak and down. And now look at this right here. Instead of having an ABC that is expanded flat, what we could be having is a ABC zigzag. of this type. I can just hear some people wailing and crowling. But if that happens, we're going to be so down. Well, here's <laughs> this is my alternate account. <laughs> and awareness keeps the panic away. It could be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five. A zigzag correction is represented by five, three, five. Five, three, five. And if that's the case, then we should be able to count five waves down from here. This would be confirmed if price. approaches more on the, goes below, let's say, 
12,500. But still, that should be okay for my primary count. But really, it should be, if it goes below 12,250 12, also. And if this stuff, more importantly, most importantly, if this starts counting impulsive, if this starts counting like one, two, three, four, five, if it starts counting one, two, three, four, five like an impulse, then we've got an ABC scenario. Now let's look at the MACD. It crossed to the bottom, and it could certainly crawl back up. Now the MACD crossed to the bottom, and this could continue down to provide the ABC alternate scenario. At the end of the day, for me, the bottom line is the same. Different path, but same destination.